Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. I'm your host, you're watching The Dean Show. And today, some bold statements, some bold facts. You're not God, I'm not God. Your mama's not God, your wife's not God. He's not God, she's not God. Nothing in the creation is God. Neither is Jesus, peace be upon him, who's beloved to our hearts. He was a mighty messenger of God who delivered the same message as all the prophets of God did. Worship the one God, the unseen God. Doesn't walk, eat, sleep. He's not like you or me. So we're going to be discussing this important fact that Jesus is not God, nor the Son of God, nor equal to God in any which way. I told you there's some bold, bold statements, but facts when we come back here on the Dean Show. Sit tight. I'm looking at this card, uh, and I, I don't see a, a Sheikh, I don't see Malana, but I see the President. You the President of India? MashaAllah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm sorry, we're just trying to break a little bit of the ice. I'm so happy. People have seen the show we've done before. You're the president of the IREF, the Islamic Educational Foundation yeah, Institute. Mashallah. Islamic Research and Educational yeah. Foundation, mashallah. And I mentioned this before. I'm, I'm very uh, happy I've got to work with you before and getting to mashallah. work with you again. And mashallah, that many people, they put on these titles, but you're just happy being called brother which, if you have others who are called Mufti, Malana, Sheikh, uh, many people, uh, I mean, you'd qualify too, but to some extent, you just call yourself Brother Imran. MashaAllah. Thank you again, and we're going to get straight down to the topic, because time is very short, and you heard me open the topic, and I clearly said, look, many people, they take a lot of these celebrities as gods. I don't know if you've heard of, heard of Jay-Z. He's promoting this do as thy will. He's almost pumping himself up as God. So many of the youth are looking to this man as a God because everything they do in their life, he's dictating it, or a celebrity, or they might look at that woman, you know? They won't pr prostrate to the creator, but they'll prostrate to the woman or to the dollar. So we're not talking about that today, but it's relevant here because none of that is God, neither is, I mentioned, it's a bold statement, but it's a bold fact. Jesus, peace be upon him, we love him dearly, we're not the Antichrist, because we believe, and you'll explain and expound on this, that he's not God, nor the Son of God, nor equal to God. What do you got to say about this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Qul, say to them, say to whom? Ya ahl al-kitab, O you people of the book, O you Jews and you Christians, ta'ala, come, ila kalimatin sawa'in baynana wa baynakum, for a common term as between us and you, the first of all the common terms, Allah na abuda illallah, that we worship none except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wala yattakhiza baduna badan arbaba min dunillah. And we take not from amongst ourselves any lords or any patrons unto us besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fain tawallahu. But after you give this message to them, if they turn away after that message, fakulu shadu. Then say to them, bear witness. Say to them, remember, man on the day of judgment. Sister, on the day of judgment, you are going to be the witness. Fakulu shadu. Say to them, bear witness. What witness? Be anna muslimun. I am a proud Muslim who has bowed my will to the will of Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by submitting to the commands in the glorious Quran in accordance with the authentic sunnah of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa as understood and practiced by the beloved companions there's a great confusion about this mighty messenger, the Jesus, peace be upon him. But some people, they worship him. Some people say, no, he's not God. He's just the son of God. Some people don't even want to go that route. So they stay quiet because their natural inclination is to only worship the one God. So they know something's fishy here. So they're confused. So we want to address everybody. What do we got to say to clear this fog, this total fallacy about Jesus being God? Let's give some bold facts. I said facts. Yeah. So we're not giving fiction. This is facts. Yes. That Jesus is not the God. Not God, Son of God. He's not the Son of God. No one is equal, not to, equal God. to God. Talk to us. Come yeah. on. How do we prove this? See, first of all, as a Muslim, and on behalf of all the Muslims in the world, many non Muslims, especially our Christian brothers and sisters, they have a misconception that Muslims, Islam, and Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, or the Quran, Nauzubillah, may Allah forbid, may God forbid, is anti-Christ. That's not true. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not love, believe and revere Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim 
it's compulsory for every Muslim on earth to believe, to love and to revere Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him. According to an authentic hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa the hadith is recorded in the Jami of Sahih by Shaykh Nasiruddin al-Bani rahimahullah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said that Allah sent 124,000 prophets on the earth since the time of Adam till Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Allah sent 124,000 prophets. Of them, about 300 plus were the messengers of Allah, the Rasuls of Allah. And of those, Prophet ﷺ said, five are Ulul Azm, the primary most. And those five are Nuh ﷺ, Ibrahim ﷺ, Musa ﷺ, Isa ﷺ, Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him, and Muhammad ﷺ. So in the house of Islam, Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him, is in the top primary most messengers of Allah. No Muslim is a Muslim if he doesn't believe, love and respect Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him. It is an article of faith through the Quran to every Muslim to love, believe and respect Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him. We, like all the Christians, we believe that Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him, was born miraculously to Virgin Mary without any male intervention. We believe that Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him, gave life to the dead, but by Allah's permission. We believe that He healed those who were born blind and lepers, but by God's permission, by Allah's permission. And about the birth of Virgin Mary, yeah, Virgin Mary giving birth to Jesus, many Christians do not believe it today, but we Muslims believe it. So this is our belief in Jesus Christ, my peace be upon him. Okay, so now we clear that up. When we come back, we're going to have to, because people are like, look, this guy is not telling me anything right now about the proofs. I want some proofs. True. So are we going to give some proofs yeah, when we come inshallah, back? Yeah, inshallah, of course. It's all about evidence. Yeah, of course. All right, they're holding us to it. We'll be right back for all this and more here on The Dean Show. Back here on The Dean Show with the president of the Islamic Research and Educational Foundation, my brother and your brother, Imran. He's your brother, too, even if you're a non-Muslim, because we're all brothers in humanity. Of course. Of course. So let's get down with it. Our brothers in humanity, some of them, they're just going along, fitting in, sliding in on Sunday, and the pastor, the priest, he's throwing these verses, and they're saying, look, I and the Father are one, and whoever, uh, you know, believeth in me, believeth in the Father, or how is a uh, only begotten Son, and whoever believeth in him shall have eternal life, and they're like, that's it, Jesus is God. What do we got to say? Yeah, of course, this is something... Uh, it's the worst blasphemy against the Almighty God. That's how Allah reacts in the Quran. Allah says in Surah Maryam, Surah number 19, Ayat number 88, 89, 90, 91, and 92. Allah says, Wa'khalu taqazar rahman walada. And they boast, they dare to say, The most gracious has begotten his son. Laqad jaitum shay'an idda. It's the dirtiest thing that anybody can utter against the Almighty God. Takadu samawat yatafattarna minhu. If we give the sense of what they are uttering against the God, saying that the most gracious has begotten a son, if we give the sense of that statement to the heavens, it will burst upon them. If we give it to the earth, it will split asunder, take them inside. If we give it to the mountains, they will fall down in utter ruin. And the all rahmani walada. They dare to say that the most gracious has begotten a son. That's how Allah reacts in the Quran. And unfortunately, you must have seen, there are so many Muslims living in the Western world, shamelessly they go to a Christian friend, and they say, Happy Christmas. As if they are acknowledging that Allah has begotten a son, now Billah, may Allah forbid. Instead of educating our Christian friends, our Christian brothers and sisters, the 25th December, Jesus Christ was not born. Jesus was not born on 25th December. From the biblical proof, from any other proof, he was not born on 25th December. Instead of saying that, Nauz Billah, may Allah forbid the Muslims say Happy Christmas. And Allah is reacting, it's the dirtiest thing that anybody can talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To say that the creator of all that exists, Nauz Billah, he has begotten a son like that. That he came out of a womb of a woman. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. That he made his mother, may Allah forbid, may Allah forbid. That, that he made his mother impure yeah. for 40 Nauz days. Billah, Nauz that he went to the bathroom. Nauz These are things that human beings yes, do. Yes, yes, of course. So that's like bringing God See, I, to the I, level. I, I, sometimes, I sometimes speak to the Christian friends and I say, do you expect a human being to marry a bitch, I mean a female dog? You don't. Do you expect a human being to beget children from a female dog or a bitch? You don't. It sounds so dirty and filthy. It's just the same saying that God begets children from human nature. So you mean like when, when you have <clears throat> the dog, the female dog is called... Yeah, okay, the bitch. The, the, yeah, okay. The bitch is the English word for the female dog. Yeah. So you, 
You can't expect a human being to beget children from a bitch. The God, how does he do it from the human beings? It's against the very glorious nature of the Almighty God. He is Subhanahu, he is glorious and pure. And coming to the subject of evidences, see, any Christian on the face of the earth, you ask him, any Christian, what do you say about Jesus? He immediately opens the Holy Bible. He opens it, starts reading. This is what it is there. This is what it is there. This is what it is there. <clears throat> I'm sorry for that. But our Christian friends, they don't realize that the Bible they are holding, this same Bible, any version of the Bible, the Roman Catholic Bible with the 73 books, or the Protestant Bible with only the 66 books, with these differences in the Bible and many more Bibles. No Bible on the face of the earth has a statement which says that Jesus Christ in his own words, in an unequivocal statement, in his own direct speech ever said that I am the God or worship me. Not a single statement. Neither did he ever say in his own statement that I died for your sins. Not a single statement in any Bible of the world. Are you, Not a single statement. This is statement. a fact now. It's a fact now. But someone might argue, you know what, just uh, to keep this interesting, I'm going to take the skeptic approach and say, look, does the president have to say he's the president? People know he's the president. What do you got to say about that? Yeah, of course. In, in one of my discussions in, in a public program, a Christian friend said, you see, Mr. Obama is the president of the USA. Oh, you had this question? Yeah, before. of course, I've had it. So he said, you see, Mr. Obama is the president of the USA. He doesn't go out to the people and say that I am the president of the USA. So therefore, Jesus need not say, I am the God. But these people, I mean, I, I don't know what in the vocabulary to give them the term. Shall I call them ignorant? Shall I call them innocent? Or shall I call them people who are totally uneducated? What shall I call them? They don't apply simple logic and common sense. Obama doesn't need to say that I am the president of the USA because the American people elected him the president. But nobody elects a God. So therefore God has to identify himself and say I am the God. Every American knows that President Obama has been elected by the Americans. So he need not come to every door, knock the door and say I am the God. But God, he is not elected. God is by himself. He has to identify to his servants that I am your God, worship me. These are the do's for you, these are the don'ts for you. And you have to accept it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And, and we're trying not to hurt anyone's feelings because I know this can be a sensitive topic. It's out of the love yeah. that we love our brothers in humanity and we really want to educate them because we want the best for all mankind and this is a serious issue no, to, no, to, of course, to right. we say glory to God glory yeah. to the Creator but to bring him yeah. down to his creation Brother, I did. this was a very important point you just pointed out some people feel it offended I say man it's not offense if somebody believes 2 plus 2 is 5 and the mathematics teacher correct says 2 plus 2 is 4 the person believing 2 plus 2 is 5 cannot say I'm feeling offended Nothing to offend. We are trying to correct you. We are trying to educate you. We are trying our lovely brothers and sisters. The Christian brothers and sisters are so lovely people on earth. We are trying to tell to them, what are you doing? You are an educated people. You are the most developed community on the face of the earth in the worldly affairs. You don't have simple logic that your Bible doesn't agree that Jesus Christ, my peace be upon him, is the God, the Son of God, or anyone equal to the God. So time is short now. We have, okay, you clearly said that in this Bible, this version, many versions, some have this in it, some have that. That's a different topic because as soon as you add something, Delia, it's not the Word of God. So now what we do have from it, even in any of the red letters or any of them, there's no explicit statement where Jesus ever said, I am God, submit to be, don't of course, worship me, of one in a trinity, I'm coming to die for your sins, if you nothing, don't believe, nothing, nothing. this nothing. is clear. That, that will come up okay. with evidences directly from the Bible. Okay, let's give some, so he was worshipped though, they say, look, Thomas worshipped him, they say that, look, in, in John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was a God, and the word became flesh, uh, statements like this, they throw these out there, what do we yeah. say? See, it's a very small logic to understand that, John 1.1 1, 1 is generally quoted, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. So instead of that, if you replace the, if word is God, just replace the word, word with God. So it would sound like this. In the beginning was the God and the God was with God and the God was God. Is it a, is it a sensible statement to give? And John 1.1 1, 1 is already a debatable verse. 
people reject the word saying it's an interpolation nobody knows who wrote John 1 1 no Christian on the face of the earth no Christian believe me no Christian and there is an infinite percentage difference between zero Christian and one Christian no Christian on the face of the earth can ever get an evidence to say authentically that John 1 1 is an uncorrupted verse written by John himself no Christian can do it it's a corrupted portion in the Bible and I would like to thank the Christian publishers who published the red lettered Bible and they made the job for people like me easy in the red lettered Bible in the words of Jesus they say these are the words of Jesus so fine I take the red lettered Bible I try to read read once twice thrice I try to make a study again and again and every time I try to make a study I return back to the conclusion with a failure of zero saying man not a single statement in the entire red lettered Bible too in red letters where Jesus said I am the God and the son of God in the literal sense worship me or I died for your sins or I am one of the Trinity even the word Trinity doesn't occur in the Bible anyway that will come back in shock we're gonna take we gotta take a break just one more before yeah. we go to break that he was worship and he didn't say stop he didn't stop people from oh, worshiping him oh not have you heard this yeah the Christians say that there are so many verses which I'm going to quote which deny that he ever said I'm God or he very tried to portray himself as God or where people worshiped him not a single There's, these are all corrupted portions in the Bible okay we're gonna be back to cover this and more here in the Dean show we'll be right back back here on the Dean show with the president of the I R E F and this is what you've dedicated your life to helping out of the love our brothers in humanity help to understand what indeed the truth is and what's opposite of truth and is opposite to say that God had a son was a man because the creator is the creator we're his creation we're his creatures and we need to worship God not make God a part of us or sit here and belittle him in that way mm. so we're giving proofs that Jesus peace be upon him is not God the son of God or ever have any equality with God and before we left I was just trying to you know give some some evidences that people will use and they'll say look Thomas because I mentioned something about people worshiping him he said my Lord and my God so look he was called my Lord and my God what do you got to say about this yeah so you see this is so Jesus himself clarifies that because Thomas said Lord and my God so Jesus is God but you look in the gospel of Matthew chapter number 19 verse number 16 17 18 when you read it a person comes to Jesus and he says oh good master not God he says good master and Jesus is responding why do you call me good you look at the response of Jesus why do you call me good there is none good except one that is the God Jesus does not want anyone even to call him good leave aside Jesus asking anyone to call him God Jesus is saying why do you call me good there is none good except one that is the God so calling somebody a God at that time was very common as in our times today it, it was common it was common even in our times today I'm saying when we go to the courtroom in the court there are so many times the people refer to the judge there the honorable judge they say oh my lord that's like in UK in London they yeah. do that, right? so does that mean that Lord means the Almighty God Lord Mountbatten does that mean that Lord is Almighty God it's the usage of the language so Jesus never ever understood that when Thomas said God he was trying to say in the sense that Jesus is the Almighty God and therefore Jesus didn't react to it but when the person says good he says why callest thou me good there is none good except one that is the Almighty God this is now something that they can verify in what verse what Gospel chapter? of Matthew chapter number 19 verse number 16 17 and 18 okay now moving on moving along because we're almost out of time he talks about that I and the Father are one oh yeah what do you got to say about that that is the that is the verse when we Muslims tell our Christian brothers and sisters you see Jesus never said I'm God so they quote you see in John Jesus said I and my father are one if you read Gospel of John chapter number 10 verse number 30 that is the verse that the quote Gospel well, of John yes chapter number 10 verse number 30 So you even know this verse oh yeah the context comes from verse number 23 Jesus enters the Solomon's uh, Jesus enters a temple of his time is worshiping place of his time and the people are gathered there is a discussion taking place then in verse number 29 Jesus says gospel of John chapter number 10 verse number 29 Jesus says my father is greater than all in verse number 30 he says 
I and my father are one. You see, when you read Surah Nisa in the Quran, Surah number 4, ayat number 80, 80, Allah says, whoever obeys Muhammad sallallahu alayhi sallam, obeys Allah. The Muslim never misunderstood thinking that Muhammad and Allah are the same sallallahu alayhi sallam. In the mission, Prophet Muhammad and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were the same. When Jesus says, I and my father are one, it means in the mission we are one, not in person. Because when Jesus says, I and my father are one, you see the confusion went to the Jews of his time. Verse number 31, the context continues. Gospel of John chapter number 10, verse number 31. The Jews picked up the stones to hit at Jesus. Verse number 32, Jesus is inquiring, what's the matter? What's the problem? Why do you want to hit at me? Do I not do good works in the name of the Father who has sent me? Verse number 33, the Jews are responding. They say, we don't hit at you for the good works. We hit at you because you blaspheme. You dare to say, you are the son of God. So Jesus says in verse number 34, Gospel of John chapter number 10, He says, is it not mentioned in your scripture that whoever does the work of God are the sons of God? When I say I am the son of God, what is the problem? I am just speaking the same language that you understand. You people know, whoever does the work of God are the sons of God. And believe me, I am I'm not joking. Believe me, the Bible gives sons to the God by tons. There are sons, what you are saying, by tons. Yes, there are sons by tons to the God in the Bible. For example, when you read the book of Hosea, chapter number, chapter number 1, verse number 10. Book of Hosea, chapter number 1, verse number 10. Book of Jeremiah, chapter number 9, verse number 26. It says the children of Israel are the sons of God. When you read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 32, verse number 6, it says the sons and the daughters of God. When you read the book of Exodus, chapter number 4, verse number 22, it says even Israel is my firstborn. When you read the book of Psalms, chapter number 68, verse number 5, it says the orphans are the sons of God. When you read the book of Psalms, chapter number 82, verse number 6, it says the judges and the jurists are the sons of God. When you read the book of Psalms, chapter number 89, verse number 26 and 27, it says David is the son of God. When you read the book of Luke, Gospel of Luke, chapter number 3, verse number 38, it says Adam is the son of God. When you read Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 12, it says whoever receives Jesus are the sons of God. You see, Bible has got sons to the God by tons. So we're here actually with the president of the IREF, who's actually you, a scholar of Christianity. We could say oh. that because you've been studying I, Christianity. You know, I, I have, I've never heard a Christian priest or, or pastor, anyone, really give the references and someone can go check it up. I, it's very hard and rare to find someone. You know, You've really been studying. It's, it's a stimulizer to me if somebody would say, you are the scholar of the Bible and a student of the Quran. It's scholar of the Bible and a student. It of, makes me very energetic when somebody says that. All right, all right. Let's go on. We're almost out of time. Tell us now one more, one more, one more. He said, whoever seen me, seen the Father. Jesus oh, is supposed oh, to be saying, whoever seen oh, me, seen the Father. Oh, again, that's, that's in action. Because the same Jesus then, if I'm to believe, whoever has seen me has seen the Father, the same Jesus in the red letters. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 37, he says, No man has ever seen him or heard his voice. Can you imagine that? No man has ever seen him or heard his voice. And in Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, 31 and 32, Jesus says, I can of mine own self do nothing as I hear I judge. And my judgment is just because I seek not my will but the will of the Father who has sent me. And Father was a common term in those times to be used for the God. Commonly every person called the God as the Father, not just Jesus. And now when you see the Quran, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, Surah number 4, Ayat number 171, Ya Ahlal Kitab, O you people of the book, you Jews and Christians, La taglufi dinikum, do not go to excesses in your religion. And do not say anything about Allah except the truth. In the Masihu Isa ibn Maryam Rasulullah, most certainly Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was the messenger of Allah. And a word from him, his command, he was born by his command. That Allah bestowed upon Mary and a spirit proceeding from him. All of you then believe in Allah and all his messengers. Wala taqulu salasa. Don't say Trinity. In tahu khairulakum. If you leave it, it's good for you. In the Allahu ilahu wahid. Most certainly your God is only one Allah. Subhanahu an yakuna lahu walad. Glory be to Him that He does not beget a son. It does not befit to Him to beget a son. 
Lahu maaf is sama vati wa maaf illat. Everything in the heavens and the earth belong to him. And Allah reacts again in Surah Maida. Surah number 5, ayat number 72, Allah says, Laqad kapar allazina khalu inna Allah huwa al-Masih ibn Maryam. Whoever said that Christ Jesus is Allah, they did blaspheme, they disbelieved. Wa qala al-Masihu, instead Christ Jesus said, Qala al-Masihu, Ya Bani Israel, Abdullah Rabbi wa Rabbukum, O you children of Israel, worship Allah who is my God and your God. Inna huma yushrik billahi faqad harram Allahu alayhi jannah. Whosoever will associate any partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will forbid heaven for them forever. They will be thrown in the hellfire as a punishment for being treacherous to the Almighty God. And there these disbelievers, these oppressors, these tyrannics against Allah will not find any helpers for them. Allah says in Surah Maida, Surah number 5, Ayat number 75, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Mal Masihub no Maryam illa Rasul. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was no more than a messenger. Wa ummuhu Siddiqa. And his mother was a pious woman, was a truthful woman. Kana yakula mitta'am. Allah says, they both ate food. Unzur kaifa nubayyanu lahumul ayat. Look how clear we make our signs unto you. So manzur, have another look. Anna yufakun. Where are you getting perverted away? Do the, does the God require to eat? Eating is a human nature. When you eat, metabolism and catabolism takes place and you send out what you don't need in your body. Does God do all this rubbish? Allah is saying, what has happened to you? God is the purest. Look and ponder on all this. Okay, we got to go. We're out of time. Just, I got to squeeze this in. They say you're not full of the Holy Ghost. That's why you don't understand. Oh, I'm, I'm thankful to Allah that I'm not full of the Holy Ghost. I don't need to be full of the Holy Ghost. I am filled with the Holy Word and that is enough for me, mashallah. See, Holy Ghost comes to so many people in the world, but the people are not understanding that what you call as the Holy Ghost is taking you away from the fundamentals that Jesus taught in the Bible that there is no God except one. In Gospel of John chapter number 17, verse number 3 and 4, he says, This is life eternal that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus whom you have sent. I have glorified your name on earth. I have finished the job which you gave me to do. And I would like to give the best definition of the Almighty God. Anyone you worship except Allah as God, fit that sample. Whether Jesus or any other Tom, Dick and Harry, fit it to that criteria. If it fits, it's God. Otherwise, it's not God. Allah says in Surah Ikhlas, Surah number 112, Ayat number 1 to 4, Qul, say to them, Wallahu Ahad. He is Allah, the only one. Allahu Samad. He is independent. He doesn't need anything. He is totally independent of all needs. But everyone besides him need him alone. He does not beget children, nor is he begotten. And there is none like unto him. And for your information, the word begotten son, the word begotten, that was in Gospel of John chapter number 3, verse number 16. The revised standard version threw out that word. Said it's an interpolation, it's a corruption, it's a concoction in the Bible. They said, throw it out. They threw out the word begotten, it's no more there. They are coming closer to Islam. Subhanallah, let them come closer and read the kalima. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad just, just, just in 15 seconds, look, we're, we're, we're past our time, so people don't feel awkward. They feel like, you know what, even many of the Anglican bishops, they came to a unanimous decision that oh. you don't have to say Jesus is God. Just, just yeah, share the Anglican bi bishops, there was a shocking survey in England. The Anglican bishops of England, they have agreed that Jesus is not God, He is not the Son of God, and He is not equal to God. Let my Christian brothers and sisters not mistaken me to be an Anglican bishop. I am not an Anglican bishop. I am a step ahead of the Anglican bishops. They agreed that Jesus is not the God, He is not the Son of God, He is not equal to God. What they need to agree is, Allah is the only one God who created Jesus, who created Adam, Noah, Muhammad wasallam, and everything in the universe besides Allah, is the creation of Allah. He is the only one God. Thank you very much. Peace. We start with peace. We end with peace. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum And thank you for sitting tight through another episode of Dean Show. We love you. We love all of mankind. But we don't like certain things that people do. And it's not about doing what we want to do. It's about doing what God wants us to do. So the most corrupt thing that an individual, the most extreme thing that an individual human being can do is 
worship other than the Creator, to set up an equal, a partner to God. And this is what Jesus called the people away from. And we love Jesus, and we love you too. That's why we're trying to educate you, because we want the best for you. So only worship the God that Jesus worshipped, and don't worship the creation or the creatures of God. Worship the one who created everything that exists. And we gave you some more evidences and proofs. So you can ponder and reflect over, but the main thing you have to do is to submit yourself and humbly ask the Creator, Him alone, to guide you and make things clear. And that is how the truth will be enlightening you. And we'll see you next time here on The Dean Show. Until then, peace be unto you.